Before you buy a VPN, make sure you get the right one, because there is a lot of really bad VPNs out there that overcharge like crazy and have really slow speeds, and the worst part is that they are not even secure. That's why I recommend you all to go to vpndiscount.org right now and pick one of the VPNs from their list that they reviewed. Not only is it reviewed by VPN experts, they also provide the best discount for you to use. I use their site to get NordVPN, and I was able to save 75% off, which is absolutely massive savings. So do not miss out. Go to vpndiscount.org now and secure yourself one of the best VPNs in the world for super cheap. They also have others like ExpressVPN, which is also really good as well. But it's also really simple to use the site. You just click the link, ODE, then buy the VPN and install it onto your PC, or laptop, Mac, or even mobile device. There's no reason you shouldn't have a VPN in this day and age. Try it out and stay safe online, guys. Hey there, I totally get it. Diving into a new security application like NordVPN can feel a bit daunting, maybe even stressful, especially when your entire online safety hinges on it. That's why I've put together this quick start guide to show you the ins and outs of using the NordVPN app. We're going to cover the basics for daily use, explore some critical security features, and I'll even point out the functions I use most often myself. We'll jump right past the NordVPN download, as that process is usually super straightforward. Let's head straight into the Windows application. The very first thing you'll see is the interactive map. It's a great visual representation of NordVPN's massive global network which spans over 60 countries and over 5,700 servers. I love how simple this map makes it to navigate such a huge list. You can connect to any of these servers with a single click. Don't want to choose? Just hit Quick Connect. This automatically finds and links you to the fastest server available for your location. If all you need is a VPN for general browsing and basic online protection, using Quick Connect is all the effort you need to put in. As you can see, NordVPN is designed to be incredibly simple. If that sounds like what you're looking for, feel free to check out the link in the description for a potential deal. Now, if you're asking, how do I use NordVPN's more advanced security settings? Let's get into the details. We'll start with VPN protocols. These are the technological backbone responsible for your encryption and security, and you can configure them in the settings menu. NordVPN typically offers a choice between two main types. OpenVPN. This is an older, time-proven standard with the robust AES 25 encryption. It's known for being very stable, though it can be slower. Nordlinks. This is NordVPN's modern high-speed protocol. It uses the newer ChaCha20 encryption and is designed to maintain up to 90% of your baseline speed. I personally prefer Nordlinks for my own NordVPN setup because of its speed and performance. Next up is the kill switch feature. Don't let the name intimidate you. The only thing this feature prevents is the risk of data leaks. The internet kill switch will disable your entire internet connection if the VPN drops unexpectedly, protecting all traffic. The app kill switch will only disconnect a select application in the same scenario. This is a crucial defense against unprotected traffic leaking out, and I highly recommend you always leave this security feature turned on. Another useful setting is split tunneling. This lets you configure which applications use the VPN connection and which do not. For example, I always have my torrenting application set up to only launch with a VPN connection. Note that this feature is currently missing on the iOS app. Essential extra features. You've probably noticed a few other distinct icons or tabs on the side of the app. If we're covering how to use NordVPN, we can't skip these unique features. Threat protection. I was surprised to find this. Managed to replace my separate ad blocker and anti-malware software. It blocks websites with annoying ads, filters out sites associated with malicious activities, and can even prevent malware downloads. Note that mobile apps use a light version of this feature, which does not block malware. MeshNet. This is a niche but powerful feature used to create a secure, direct, and encrypted connection between multiple PCs in a network, almost like a virtual LAN. It's great for remote file access, business collaboration, and I've even used it for hosting LAN games with friends. Dark Web Monitor. 
This feature constantly scans for any data associated with you, like your email address, that may have been leaked onto the dark web. If a breach is detected, you get an immediate notification, allowing you to secure your accounts as fast as possible. Advanced Server Options Let's circle back to the server list, as there are a few specialty servers that offer distinct strengths worth explaining. Double VPN This chains two servers together, one after the other, for double the encryption and security. These come in handy if you're on an untrustworthy network or somewhere abroad. Onion over VPN For maximum privacy, these servers use an anonymity network, TOR, together with the VPN server creating the most private connection possible for dealing with things like the dark web. P2P servers. These are dedicated torrenting servers, optimized for the best speed and stability for file sharing activities. Dedicated IP servers. These cost a little extra since NordVPN provides you with a stable IP address that is assigned only to you. This is useful for websites that routinely ban the public, shared IP addresses attributed to many VPN users. Obfuscated servers. These exist to hide the fact that you're using a VPN. This is especially useful for some websites that don't like VPN traffic at all, or to bypass governmental restrictions in some countries. If you're wondering why there are no servers explicitly for streaming, that's because all NordVPN servers are streaming optimized. I've used them with all popular streaming platforms and didn't experience any lags or slowdowns even for distant locations. Compatibility and conclusion. Even though this tutorial was focusing on how to use NordVPN on PC, the Mac app is not much different in terms of the user interface. It still offers the interactive map and all the main features. While the mobile apps are a little different, all the core settings and features are still available, with the exceptions for split tunneling and threat protection light on iOS. Considering this wide compatibility, it's great that NordVPN can be used on up to six devices at the same time. In conclusion, NordVPN is a pretty robust VPN with a lot of different features, but I hope this guide helped you get quickly accustomed to its core elements. That's it. Thanks for watching. Don't forget about the exclusive deal in the description and leave a like and a comment. What NordVPN feature are you most excited to try first?